Devri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 11. Then all Yashadael gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are your bone and your flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Shaul was king, you were he that led out and brought in at Yashadael. And Yahuwah Elohechem said unto you, you shall feed at my people, at Yashara'el, and you shall be ruler over my people, Yashara'el. Therefore came all the elders of Yashara'el to the king, to Hebron, and David cut a covenant with them in Hebron before Yahweh, and they anointed at David king over Yashara'el according to the word of Yahuwah by Shemuel. And David and all Yashar'el went to Yerushalayim, which is Yevuk, where the Yavusim were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Yevuk said to David, You shall not come hither, Nevertheless, David took at the castle of Sion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smites the Yebusim first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Seruiah went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle Therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city roundabout, even from Milo roundabout, and Yoav repaired at the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for Yahuwah Sevaoth was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Yashadael to make him king according to the word of Yahuwah concerning Yashadael. This is the number of the mighty men whom David had. Yashavam, Echachmoni, the chief of the captains. He lifted up at his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was El Azar the son of Dodo, the Achachi, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pach Damim, and there the Pelishtim were gathered together to battle, where was a parcel of the ground, rather a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Pelishtim, and they set themselves in the midst of that parcel and delivered it and slew at the Pelish team. And Yahweh saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David into the cave of Adalam. And the host of the Pelish team encamped in the valley of Raphaim, and David was then in the hold, and the Pelishtim's garrison was then at Beit Lechem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Beit Lechem that is at the gate. And the three broke through the host of the Pelishtim and drew water out of the well of Beit Lechem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to Yahweh and said, My Elohim forbid it that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it, therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest. 
and Avishai, the brother of Yoav, he was chief of the three, for lifting up at his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit, he attained not to the first three. Benayahu, the son of Yahuyada, the son of a valiant man of Chatzel, who had done many acts, he slew at two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew at the lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew a Mitzri, at a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Mitzri's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked at the spear out of the Mitzri's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benayahu the son of Yahuyada, and had the name among the three mightiest, rather, three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Ashael, the brother of Yoav, Elchanan, the son of Dodo of Beit Chlechem, Shamath, rather Shamot, the Haroi, Chelets, the Pelani, Iria, rather Iria, the son of Ekish, the Tekoi, Ari Ezar, the Arnothati, Chibikai, the Kushati, Eli, the Achachi, Maharai, the Netophati, Chiled, the son of Bana'a, the, Let, the Netophati, Itai, the son of Rivai of Giva, that pertained to the children of Binyamin, Benayahu, the Pir Athani, Chirai, of the brooks of Gaash, Aviel, the Arvati, Azmaveth, the Bachur Mi, Eliachba, the Sha'alavni, the sons of Hashem, the Gizoni, Yanatan, the son of Shagi, the Harari, Achyam, the son of Sechar, the Harai, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Shefer, the Mecherati, Echiyahu, the Peloni, Chetzro, the Kameli, Naarai, the son of Ezbai, Yoel, the brother of Nathan, Mifchar, the son of Hagri, Selech, the Omani, Naharai, the Borothi, the armor bearer of Yoav, the son of Surya, Iria, the Yithri, Gareb, the Yithri, Uriyahu, the Chiti, Zavad, the son of Achlai, Adina, the son of Shiza, the Reoveni, the captain of the Reorovenim, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Ma'aka, and Yosafat, the Mithni, Uziah, the Ashtarathi, Shama and Yechiel, the sons of Chatham, the Aroeri, Yadiael, the son of Shemri, and Yocha, his brother, the Titsi, Eliel, the Machavim, and Yerib Bai, and Yoshavya, the sons of El Naam, and Yithma, the Moavi, Eliel, and Oved, and Yaashiel, 
the Metzovaya.